Oh, that wouldn't be fun to step on. Size 8 mosquito hook on the floor in the kitchen. Par for the course around this house. What's up everyone, Scott the Char Hammer here. And we've got a beautiful day thanks to all that blueness coming back. Actually, you know what, let's just step out in it. Oh yeah, this will be the first time I've been outside just for the sake of being outside in days. Ah, already smells so much better out here. Yeah, I just kind of laid low over the weekend because we had a couple of storms come through. Pretty good thunderstorms. But we've got a post-frontal day today, which means fishing should be electric. Aw, oh, yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. I get some of this stuff to take the vinyl-based paint off of the paintbrush so I can continue fixing my uh, blades here. I'm going to paint some white, paint some black. I think it's a day for this stuff. I think it's a day to hit the river and try to get some salmon. I need these too. And since those are pretty fish specific setups that I have, I really don't have to change anything on those rods. Because I keep one rod dedicated to salmon fishing and for drift fishing, so it just it just has a rig on it all the time. But gonna make some more of these. You guys have already seen the video of me making that, showing you guys how to make some spawn bags. So yeah, I'm just gonna rig up a few more of those real quick and then we're gonna make our way to the river. Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! Alright, guys, check that out. Man, not even having to mend the line. The wind's doing it for me. <laughs> Must have picked a perfect day. Man, I should have made this my drift rod years ago. I was using this for other fishing. I got sick of having to take the drift rig off one rod, store it up, and then put it back on when I want to go fishing. I'm like, I'm just going to make a rod my drift rod and just leave my drift gear on it. And this rod casts itself. I think I need more depth. And that is as tight as can be. Yeah, yeah. I use uh, I use Pro Cure pretty much every time I'm out here. I've got plenty if you want to use some. Yeah, I am definitely a Pro Cure guy. And for one, it works, but you know, also it's a it's a local company. Oh, okay. I'll leave it out there a second. Well, that was a trout. Maybe I should switch to the glide bait. And I hope those are ODFW guys. Okay, good. If I see you guys fishing on a boat past that line, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, guys, I'm thinking I'm just going to fish the scent off the spinner and call it a day because I've been here for about an hour and I haven't seen any fish activity besides trout. Yeah, the weekend rain just tanked any opportunity to fish right now. Yeah, this water's got to come up another 10 degrees or so to be fishable. I'll tell you guys what, there's nothing like a big salmon hitting a lure. Such a good feeling, and I want to feel it again. Yeah, that's all I'm seeing right now is trout. Trout taking bugs off the surface. I didn't come here for trout. All right, I'll rig a small spinner for a little while. Well, not really a small spinner, but a smaller spinner than the Yakima. Okay, yeah, that's about enough of that. You haven't seen the last of me, River. Oh boy, that is some warm air in here. I even parked in the shade, it didn't matter. So, you know, nothing happened here today. 
and I, I can't really complain because I'd rather come to a location and see just how things are. And it looked like I wasn't the only guy not getting anything. So that river has got to come down another couple inches. It's actually pretty high for this time of year, but we just had a pretty good rainfall. Yeah, that, that, that stream has got to come down a couple inches and it's got to go up about 10 degrees in temperature to be fishable. So real quick, giving my shout outs too for the uh, people who subscribed since the last video I posted. So shout out to Fatboy313 and to Kristen B. You guys rock. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. And I know I say it a lot in a lot of a lot of my videos, multiple times the video, but I, you know, I'm trying to get this channel to grow to a thousand subscribers and I need your help to do that. So if you could, please hit that subscribe button over down that way, that, that notify bell up there. So you're gonna be the first to see all the great content that's gonna come from this channel. And I am giving a shout out to everyone that subscribes to the channel between videos. So if you want your name to be called out in, on my channel, be sure to subscribe, get yourself signed up. So I did see my uh, subscriber count inflate past the uh, number that I could read to uh, give a shout out to. And that's just if uh, you have your privacy settings for your subscription status set to private, then I can't call you out. I still thank you if you have it set to private. You guys know who you are. All right, so we are back home. Nothing doing on the river. But I am seriously just gonna change setups and go back out. I'm gonna hop over to a pond and try some bass fishing because the forecast, once again, shows that it's a, shows that it's a perfect 10 which doesn't really surprise me, it's a post-frontal day. But anything's gonna help me catch bass, I want it to help. So, I no longer need like nine-tenths of what I brought with me today. These actually worked, made me happy. My bait sacks worked. Not that I didn't expect them to, but I haven't made them in a while. Okay, still gonna take the plastic swimmers though. Not gonna need swim baits, definitely take jigs. But we are also taking crank baits because I think we're gonna get a reaction bite tonight. And of course, bring an old faithful just in case. All right, quick turnaround, smooch the family. See you guys back on the water. Oh, huh, the water's just a lot cleaner than I thought it was gonna be. All right, we'll just change the color. Quick, easy fix. Lots of grass over in this part. Completely doable. little something it's a little bass and the bass in this pond always have just great colors to them there used to be a shopping cart at the end of this dock oh really at the bottom yeah and the bait fish used to like to swim around it mm -hmm. okay look you drag yourself six inch pumpkin lizard across the bottom of this place from one end to the other and you will catch fish they love it I don't know what it is about it. I, you know what I even started doing? Taking the hind legs off. Just having the front legs Oh, just taking the appendages off. off? What? Taking those appendages off on the front? No, on the back. Oh, on the back, okay. Yeah, just the hind legs, not the front legs. Left the front legs on, and then just just left the tail hanging. And, and, and uh, they, they loved it. They gobbled it up. <laughs> I thought that I, you should know that. And your viewers should know that. <laughs> Waverly Lake, six inch pumpkin lizard. You can catch some smallmouth with that. You know, you go mm -hmm. over here to the Willamette and you catch some smallmouth with that. Yeah, I have. This here? Uh, I don't know. We need, like, a lizard, a pumpkin lizard. There you go. All right. I hope you post some of my uh, really cool remarks, you know, because <laughs> I'm a cool guy that the world needs to get to know. All right. So, all right. Have a good day, man. Have a good one, Mark. Right, pumpkin lizard, man. Just play it. I will do that. There we go. Whoa. Fighter. Oh yeah. That's a good sized bluegill. This is a little one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so cute. Tiny bluegill. Holy cow. 
Ow. Yeah, it seems like all this lake needed was a nice good rain because suddenly the fish are active again. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Look how fat that bluegill is! Bluegill pretty much doubled its weight in food. Man, these are some fat bluegill down. What you doing there, Mr. Nutria? Yeah, I think this will be last fish. And with that, guys, I think I'm just going to end this video here. Yeah, I've been here a long time, tired. It's been a long day for me. I'm just going to go home and relax. You know, things didn't really go the way I wanted it to today with fishing. You know, nothing doing for salmon, and bass fishing is just Oregon bass fishing. It's just typical. Resort to catching bluegill again. You know, it's kind of a lot more raw than I thought it was going to be with uh, how I'm doing these, like, freeform style videos for this channel. So, I mean, this... This is what a fishing day usually is for me. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I would make that, uh, you know, a lot of my more popular fishing videos, they were uh, or just like striking gold on a specific trip or, you know, everything just worked correctly, going the right place, right time, right stuff, and everything aligned. Most of the time, this is what fishing is like here in Oregon. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments below, of course. And again, I'm trying to get this channel to grow to a thousand subscribers, and I need your help to do that. So if you could, please hit that subscribe button over there and notify bell up there so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing.